social media star Peggy Lee warned her friend Giant to keep off her bed while house-sitting. She claims his seven-foot-two frame broke her luxury bed. She's suing him for busting up her beloved bed. Ronald Lewisant says Peggy was jumping around on the bed for her social media work, and that's what led to her bed being busted up. When I was a kid, I used to watch you on TV. And you survived. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew you were going to be a judge, Judge Jerry. I always knew that you had, like, a destiny to be a judge, so, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. And Penny, you are suing Ronald, and you go by the name of Giant? Yes. If you don't mind me asking, how tall are you? 7'2". You're 7'2"? Yes. So, Penny, why are you suing the giant? I had him watching my apartment for oh. three days. He's a security guard, and he works in the same industry as me. I do Instagram and OnlyFans and stuff like that. Oh. So, I've known him for a while. He's a pretty trustworthy individual, I thought. And he's a big guy, so I figured he could watch my apartment while yeah. I go on this vacation. So, I go on the vacation. I'm checking in with him. He's not answering my text messages. He's not answering my phone calls. I, I pretty much lost communication with him while I was on the trip. So I come back, my bed is broken. Your bed is broken? Yes, completely broken, $4,000 bed. I had given him instructions because he's a giant prior to him staying at my apartment to not touch my bed. He said, okay, that's fine. I have an air mattress, don't worry. I'm not gonna go near it. So I get back from Atlanta. I go in my bedroom and the bed is, it looked like a tornado hit it. There's the bed. That's not a $4,000, but that, that's, that, that's a refugee raft. Come on. OK, the frame is about those are the slats underneath the mattress? Mm-hmm. OK, so you said don't sit on the bed. And when you came home, this is the bed you saw. That is the bed that I saw. OK, now go ahead. This is a luxury bed that I got. It was, um, it was very expensive, like I said. And I had given him these instructions. If I didn't tell him not to touch the bed, then I would understand. But I told him. Do not come near my bed. Were you concerned so, when you told him that because of his size he shouldn't sit on yes, the bed? Or because was, something was wrong with the bed to begin with? Nothing was wrong with the bed. It was because of his size. Because this is a luxury bed and I'm like, you're going to break it if you sit on it. I, I knew that that could happen. It wasn't broken when I left. I mean, oh she does OnlyFans, she does private videos for me, but she could have been jumping you, on the bed for somebody. Okay, seriously. It's not like she didn't think that this could happen. In other words, this wasn't what I mean, hey, she thought it could happen. Exactly. I'm That's a big I'm guy, I weigh a lot, but at the same time, okay. like... Okay, is it possible that, for example, if you're twerking on the bed... My bed was not broken prior to him coming to my apartment. I don't know what he's trying to do right now, but me and him have had conversations about this. He knows he broke my bed. We've been arguing about this since it happened. What made you think he, he knows that he broke it? I have text messages. Okay, good. Come it on. It says here, I just got back to my place. Why is my bed broken? And you said, what do you mean? It's an old bed. I sat down to watch a movie and it fell apart. Did Ooh. you not know that I could like print oh. that out on a piece of paper? Oh, oh. You are admitting to her in black and white here. Mm that you sat down to watch a movie and it fell apart. I have a video, actually, I don't have it with me, but I've seen a video, I had a camera set up, of him walking toward my bedroom with my laptop in his hand. That What's on the laptop? All I had on my laptop open before I left to Atlanta was my OnlyFans. Oh, you mean some of those videos? Yes, yes, but the laptop was closed in my living room, like on a desk. So I have footage of him walking. You opened her laptop. Toward my bedroom to with see my laptop. some of those OnlyFan videos. I was watching a movie. I wasn't watching oh. her OnlyFans. This is what I've been I dealing with. I have a Netflix account. Jerry she has past, Netflix on like, the computer. He clearly just disobeyed me, which is kind of crazy because you're watching someone's apartment. You're doing them a favor, and then you just break their item and don't pay for it. OK, what she says sounds reasonable, that someone would mm -hmm. say, please don't sit on my bed. Now, what happened? Did you sit on her bed? The third night, I got tired of sleeping on the air mattress. I slept on the bed. I explain how I use the bed one night, and it breaks. It falls upon itself. What you're admitting to here, which is relevant, mm -hmm. is, and I'm quoting you, I sat down to watch a movie, and it fell apart. You're admitting it. You didn't even pay me to do it for you. I did for free. I did for. I, okay. I did you a favor. It is true that you watched her house and you didn't charge anything. Yeah, I did her a favor because I that, know her. That is true. But you agreed to that before this ever incident ever happened. That's what you agreed to. But you also didn't listen to her. And in this case, not listening to her really cost her. 
because what she was afraid of, in fact, happened, and you admit to it. So therefore, I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $3,699. Thank you. He's the judge, he makes the decisions, and um, yeah. So I just won on Judge Jerry, and I'm very, very happy about the results. Judge Jerry is very smart. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom, you have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.